Welcome to another tutorial that will talk about how to create this uh, pushing effect. So I'll just start from the top. So this is the model I brought and I uh, used the uh, 3D light. I created the material. So the material here uh, is the principal shader. I added a texture for the diffuse and for the roughness and metallic and uh, normal for each bottle one two three four bottle just simple colors nothing fancy and add them up here these are the bottles now to do the simulation I took this bottle and I modify them to make it easy so these are the bottles here they are I wanted to fuse the points to make it less but doesn't matter then um, I first initially tried to pull extrude them and try to make the smoke come from inside to the outside but this took a long time and the PDB need to be very tiny and very heavy so I didn't do that Instead, I use this node, the uh, convex decomposition node, that it will take uh, the geometry, and if you increase the concavity uh, percentage, you will have. So, in general, I just wanted the shape to be closed, and uh, uh, that's all. See, because uh, I decided to make the simulation start from the top, not from the bottom, to make it faster. Okay. So this is the collision source I created and this is the VDB and the amount I make it 0.01 so imagine if it's hollow it will take long long time that's why I went smooth uh, quick and uh, make it a closed object okay then what I did here I created a circle and in this circle I transform it uh, to the top of the uh, of each uh, of the bottles and then I scatter some points see I didn't scatter that much only a hundred points you can animate it the global seed if you like you can animate but I, I didn't animate then I created a bio source the bio source uh, I don't need first something to splash only to generate the attribute so here I have only density and temperature because I want to create smoke like ice like uh, smoke so uh, no explosion no fire no flame then I adjusted its vector for the velocity to make it uh, random and then the density and velocity and temperature here in the blue smoke solver uh, I went down just let me increase it to 5 and I connected the collision geometry and this is how it will look okay so let's have a look anyway um, to to I catch it but to make it uh, work with the with the 3d light uh, volume uh, I should create it as uh, a VDB so I converted the result to a VDB and the VDB here have for VDB uh, I cache it so this is the cache so this is the cache that I regenerated very cool and uh, just to make things faster because I, um, I didn't bother about them being interact each smoke with the other so I created uh, this process for time for each bottle and I cache them I have a VDB and I cache but here one thing I did in the blue smoke inside I went I what I did right click I uh, initially it will be like this I open it allow editing so see the lock it's open I went inside I just went to the top network itself and in the cache 
I save the checkpoint. The checkpoint I save uh, only one interval, sorry, uh, one copy every 50 frames. So that means it will simulate when it reaches 50 frames, it will save a simulation cache. That in case after 50 frames, like 70, 80, it crash or anything, it will not start from the top from frame 1. It will search for frame 50 and start from it. So this will save some time. So if each 50 frame, it will save one copy and delete the previous one. One copy and delete the previous one. And I did this for all of the bio solver. Next, I created the VDB. The way you created it in 3D light, you have this VDB and you will search for the uh, cache. Like let's say this one, accept. Here it is. We just uh, disable these uh, four, so it will create it for you. A file in board and transfer in case you want to transform it. And here, as you can see, it's a packed uh, density. Also, it will create for you a VDV volume that's in the material. Right click, you go to 3D light. VDB volume and you connect it to this one but instead of doing all of this it will do it for you automatically then in the output uh, one thing I did forget to mention the way I cache these files uh, not one by one I created this uh, which geometry I added the convert VDB so this one came here and I put this file that uh, it's saved and read out in the other node. So this is the first simulation, second bottle, third bottle, and fourth bottle. I connect them as a merge, and in the merge control, you can do it frame by frame or node by node. So cancel. So either it will simulate one frame for each and save, or it will do this one, finish, do this one, finish, do the which is better, one by one. So I don't have to be there just to re uh, order the simulation and the saving it will save time you can go and drink your coffee while doing that then in the output here of course i created a camera uh, you can have an ibr in the output i make the frame range and i save it as the xr uh, this is the output very fast so let's choose another frame, let's say frame 129, oh, sorry, ah, here it is, let's make it on the top, window, stay on top, let's choose uh, the last frame for instance and see, the response is very very quick. For the lighting, I created light from the back and light from here, light from here, and light from the top. So, see, it could render very fast. Very, I'm um, just uh, starting to learn the 3D light, and it's very easy and straightforward, no complication. Like V ray, very nice. Some tweaks here and there, like the VDB issue, but that's okay. Anyway, VDB is. Uh, easier on the hard disk than the volume itself or if i choose another frame let's say something in the 240 range and immediately yeah very good so close and quit and this is the simulation thank you for watching have a nice day.